Welcome friends. Today's practice will begin standing at the front of our mat, bringing your feet together, big toes are touching, lifting through the heart, drawing your shoulders down, closing your eyes and taking a moment to observe how your body is feeling today, taking a moment to let go any thoughts that do not serve you during your practice, observing your balance, maybe you're leaning to your right leg or to the left, maybe forward or back, just try to spread the weight evenly, reaching the crown of the head up, taking your palms together against your heart center, bowing the chin, and think what you want to dedicate your practice to, your intention. We'll begin with sun salutations. Inhale, bring your palms up through the sides, lift through the heart and find a gentle back bend. And exhale, slowly start folding down from your hip creases, bending your knees if you need to, reaching the palms to the floor. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up, bring the palms to the shins. And exhale, step or jump your feet back into plank and lower down to your chaturanga or your knees, chest and chin. Inhale. Finding your upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, push the hips back, find your child's pose. Reaching your hips towards the heels, stretching your arms, rolling your biceps out, shoulders away from your ears. And when you're ready, curl the toes, press the palms into the mat, and lift the hips up for your downward facing dog. Walk your dog, bending your knees one at a time. Observing how the legs feel today, moving your hips from side to side. Inhale and exhale, step walk or jump your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, slowly fold down, standing forward fold. Inhale, rise up to standing, lifting your arms up, finding your back bend. And exhale, slowly lower your arms down. Inhale, lift your arms up, find your back bend. Lift through the heart, activate the core. And exhale, slowly start folding down. Bending from your hip creases, keeping your back straight and reaching your palms to the floor, your ankles or the shins. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, step walk or jump your feet into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, uncurl the toes, hips off the mat, lift through the heart. And exhale, lift the hips up, downward dog. Tuck the chin, roll the biceps out, activate your quadriceps. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Keep tuning in, observing your sensations. Keep reaching the heels down. Inhale, send the gaze to the front. Exhale, step walk or jump your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, fold down to standing forward fold. Inhale, rise up, lifting your arms up, finding your back bend. And exhale, lowering your arms down. Inhale, lift your arms up, find your back bend. Exhale, slowly fall down. Reach the palms to the floor, reach the nose towards the shins. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, step walk or jump your feet back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, lift the hips up, downward dog. Reaching both heels down, activating the quadriceps, pressing the whole palms into the mat and rolling your biceps out. Tucking the chin, pulling the navel in.
inhale send the gaze to the front exhale step walk or jump your feet to the front of the mat inhale lift the chest halfway up exhale fold down standing forward fold inhale rise up to standing lift your arms up back bend and exhale lower your arms down now cross your legs bring your right foot to the outside of your left inhale lift your arms up interlace the fingers reach your fingertips up and activating the core exhale start reaching your arms to the right stretching the left side of the torso keeping your shoulders stacked you can gaze up towards the ceiling inhale reverse back to neutral and exhale lower your arms down and crossing your legs observing the sensation and now bring your left foot to the outside of your right rooting both feet into the mat inhaling lifting your arms up activating the core reaching your fingertips up and exhaling reaching your arms to the left stretching the right side of the torso breathe lift through the heart and exhale reach inhale rise back up exhale lower your arms down inhale bend the knees sending your arms up gaze towards the sky activating the core pulling the navel in and exhale extend your legs reach the fingertips down inhale lift the chest halfway up exhale step walk or jump your feet back into plank chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale lift the hips up downward dog dropping your left heel down placing your foot at 45 degrees stepping your right foot forward inhale warrior one and then exhale frame the front foot step it back to plank lowering down chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale lift the hips up downward dog drop your right heel 45 degrees step your left foot forward inhale warrior one lift through the heart exhale frame the foot step it back to plank chaturanga inhale upward facing dog lift through the heart exhale lift the hips up downward dog straighten both legs to reach the heels down pressing both palms into the mat spreading the fingers now roll your forearms in and then biceps out. Tuck the chin, pull the navel in, activate your quadriceps. Breathe. One. Constrict the throat. Two. Three. four and five inhale send the gaze to the front exhale step walk or jump your feet to the front of the mat inhale lift the chest halfway up exhale fall down inhale bend the knees extend the arms and exhale stand up tall lower your arms down one more time inhale bend the knees extend your arms exhale fold down extending your legs reaching the palms to the mat inhale lift the chest halfway up straighten the spine exhale press the palms into the mat jump back into plank chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale lift the hips up downward dog drop your left heel down step your right foot forward inhale warrior one exhale frame the foot step it back to plank chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and exhale lift the hips up downward dog drop your right heel down step your left foot forward inhale warrior one lift through the heart exhale frame the foot step it back to plank chaturanga inhale upward dog and exhale lift the hips up downward dog 
five deep inhales and exhales reach the heels down activate the quadriceps press the whole palms into the mat tuck the chin one two three four and five inhale send the gaze to the front exhale step walk or jump to the front inhale lift the chest halfway up straighten the spine exhale fall down inhale bend the knees extend your arms exhale stand up tall lower your arms down samastiti here inhale bend the knees and extend your arms up and exhale bring the palms together against your heart center Activate the core, squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale and exhale, find the twist to the right. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Press the palms together and push your right shoulder to the back of the room. If you're not able to hook the elbow, then just extend the arms. Breathe here. Take the variation that works for you today. Inhale and exhale, reverse, return to neutral. Inhale and exhale, find the twist to the left, press the palms together, breathe and observe the sensations. Gaze up towards the ceiling, send your left shoulder back, keeping your knees in one line. Inhale and exhale, gently return to neutral. Inhale, lift both arms up and exhale, extend the legs, reach the palms to the floor. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, step walk or jump your feet into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, lift the hips up. Downward dog. Lift your right leg up. Now bend the knee and start bringing your shoulders over the wrist and squeeze your knee in towards the chest. Inhale, lift your right leg up and squeeze the knee in towards the chest. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Squeeze the thigh in towards the chest. Press the floor away from you. And now start extending your right leg, placing the foot in between the palms. Activate the core. Keep your back heel lifted and rise up for your high lunge. Keeping your front knee bent, back leg is straight. Now slightly bend your back knee and tuck your tailbone under and now push your left heel away you will feel more uh, more sensations in the uh, left quadricep breathe here and now let's add five little pulses one two three four five hold breathe two three four and five inhale and exhale drop your back heel down 45 degrees rotate the chest to the left and extend your arms to opposite direction keeping your front knee bent gaze to the front warrior two breathe now inhale extend your front knee and then exhale bend inhale extend exhale bend Inhale, extend, exhale, bend. Inhale, extend, exhale, bend. Inhale, extend, exhale, bend. And stay here for five breaths. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, flip your front palm up. And exhale, reverse your warrior, keeping your front knee bent. Inhale, reverse, return back to warrior two. Now extend your front leg, slowly rotate your hips to the right and then back and reach, 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 reach your torso forward and then start lowering your right palm down to the shin or the mat, the block or the mat. Taking your shoulders and reaching your left palm up. Activate the core. Use your core to hold yourself up. Don't lean and relax. Activate the core. 
inhale and exhale slowly send your gaze to the floor and slowly circle your left arm down towards the mat and framing your front foot sending your right hip back all lower your chest over your right thigh press through the inner side of your front foot into the mat and observe the sensations at the back of your right leg breathe here two three four and five inhale lift the chest and now slowly walk your palms towards the center in between the legs so you should rotate your uh, right toes towards the left feet are parallel towards one another slightly inward rotate it slightly inward grab your big toes and with your index and middle fingers inhale lift the chest halfway up exhale start sending your elbows out to the side and reach your chest between the thighs keep sending your tailbone up bringing the weight slightly to the balls of the feet activate your quadriceps activate the core activate the glutes two three four and five inhale lift the chest halfway up and exhale slowly walk your palms towards the left foot and now rotate your left toes towards the back of the mat and now reach your chest towards your left thigh press the whole front foot into the mat send your left hip back right hip forward breathe here one two three four and five inhale lift the chest halfway up now bring your left palm on top of your right bring your left palm on top of your left shin activate the core root your feet into the mat and slowly start rotating the chest to the right taking your shoulders and reaching your right arm up now activate the core lift the torso realign the hips and then reach your left palm down one more time breathe here finding your triangle straightening your front leg sending your hips back rooting the front foot into the mat gaze up one two three four and five inhale and exhale rotate the face to gaze towards the floor press through the front foot lift the torso up now bend the front knee and find your warrior two gaze into the front gaze in towards your left palm shoulders over the hips and then when you're ready inhale extend your front leg and exhale bend try to sink deeper inhale extend exhale bend inhale extend exhale bend inhale extend exhale bend inhale extend exhale bend and hold for five breaths one two observe the sensations three keep reaching the fingertips in opposite directions and five inhale flip your front palm up and exhale reverse your warrior keeping your front knee bent inhale reverse back to warrior two and now slowly start rotating your chest to face the front of the room and lift your back heel up if you need to step your back foot slightly closer and find your high lunge slightly bend your right knee tuck your tailbone activate the core squeeze your inner thighs together now push your right heel back observe the sensations and now add five pulses one two activate your left glute squeeze the glutes three four five and sink deeper and breathe for five 
Draw your shoulders down. Inhale and exhale. Slowly lower the palms down to the mat, framing your front foot and stepping your left foot back into plank, lowering down to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, drop the knees down and push your hips back. Find your child's pose. Relax here. Observing the sensations, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your back, relaxing your hips, your legs. Observing your ribs, expanding as you inhale and contracting as you exhale. Inhale. And exhale. When you're ready, extend your arms, curl the toes, and lift the hips up for your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, square the hip, keep your foot flexed, and now start pulsing your right leg up towards the sky for one, two, three, Four, keep your left leg straight. Five, six, sink your armpits down. Eight, nine, and ten. Now you can open the hip, bend the knee, point the toes behind you, and then slowly lower your right foot down to the floor, rotating your hips up towards the sky, extending your left leg, finding your wild thing. Inhale, activate the core, and exhale slowly, return back, one-legged dog, and lower your right foot down. Inhale, lift your left leg up, keep your hips squared, keeping your right leg straight and reaching the heel down. Start passing your left leg up towards the ceiling, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now open the hip, bend the knee, point the toes behind you, and then slowly start descending your left foot down to the floor. Extend your right leg and start rotating the hips up towards the sky and finding your wild thing pose. Stretch the front of the torso. Lift the hips higher. Inhale and exhale slowly, return back one leg it up exhale lower the foot down bring your feet together inhale roll your shoulders forward finding your plank activate the core send the heels back squeeze your inner thighs together press the floor away from you find your neutral spine breathe and now slowly Roll to the right side, so bring the, stack your feet one on top of the other, bringing the weight towards the right palm, stack your shoulders, and then extend your left arm up. If you're not able to do it, then keep your right knee down and find your balance. Or maybe you can have your right leg extended and step your left foot to the front. So take the variation that works for you today. Breathe here, keeping your right shoulder over the palm press your whole palm into the mat maybe you can activate the core squeeze the glutes and lift your top leg up press the foot away from you send the heel away from you activate your left leg activate the quadricep inhale and then exhale lower your foot down and roll back into plank send the heels forward chaturanga inhale upward facing dog lift through the heart Exhale, lift the hips up, downward dog. Breathe. 
Now send, bring your feet together, reach your shoulders forward, find your plank, and now roll to the left side, taking your shoulders one on top of the other, bringing your feet one on top of the other. Activate the core, extend your right arm up. You can gaze up. If your feet are stuck, just keep squeezing your inner thighs together, squeeze your heels together. And if you're ready, you can lift your top leg up, activate the quadriceps, the glute, and push the heel away from you. Push, 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 push. Inhale and exhale, lower the leg down, roll back to plank, roll through vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, drop the knees down, push the hips back, find your child's pose. And then when you're ready, slowly lift the torso up. Finding yourself sitting on your knees. Drop your hips down and extend both legs to the front. Spread the weight evenly between your left and right sit bones. Lift your arms up. And exhale, start reaching your arms towards the feet, your ankles or the shins. Activate the core, lift through the heart. And exhale, slowly start folding down. Observing the sensations in your back, in your legs. Inhale, and exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, and exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, lift the chest, half here. Yeah. Exhale, return back to seated. Lift your, bend your right knee, and step your right foot outside of your left thigh. Keep your left leg engaged. Inhale, lift your arms up. And exhale, start twisting to the right, bringing your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, or just squeeze the knee in. Press your right palm to the floor right behind you, lifting through the heart and finding a twist. Breathing here, observing the sensations. Flex your left foot, reach the crown of the head up as you inhale. And twist as you exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, gently release and the twist to the opposite direction. Now extend your right leg, bend your left knee and step your left foot to the outside of your right thigh. Activate your right quadriceps and flex the foot. Lift through the heart, reach the crown of the head up, lift the arms up and inhale and exhale, twist. Bring the elbow to the outside or squeeze the knee in, press the right, press the left, left palm into the mat, inhale, elongate the spine and exhale, twist. Inhale and exhale, twist. Inhale. And exhale, twist a little deep. Inhale. And exhale, gently release. Extend your left leg. Lift both arms up. Inhale. And exhale, start folding down one more time. Grabbing your ankles or the toes. Lift the chest halfway up. And exhale, start folding down. Inhale and exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale and exhale. Lift the chest halfway up as you inhale. And exhale, return to neutral. Now, lower down to your elbows and place your palms right where your elbows are. Extend both legs. If you want reverse plank or keep your knees bent if you want reverse tabletop. So take the version that works for you today. Fingers are pointed towards the feet. Activate the core, palms right under the shoulders. Activate the core, start squeezing your inner thighs together. Reach the toes to the front, press the feet, press the heels into the mat. Lift up and now you can drop your head back down if you wish.
Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower the hips down. And then gently start transitioning to your backs. Lower down to your elbows. And roll your spine down, one vertebra by vertebra at a time. Squeeze your knees in. You can roll from side to side. Grab your big toes with your index and middle fingers and start using your bicep strength to reach your knees in to the floor, close to your armpits. You can roll from side to side, touching one knee and then the other. And then you can bring your feet together, hold onto the feet and start reaching your feet in towards your belly button. Reaching your heels in towards the belly button, opening your knees out to the side. Now start extending your knees, hold on to the toes or the soles of the feet, push the heels into the palms, extending both legs and start opening your legs out. Reaching your toes towards the floor. Inhale and exhale, bend both knees, bring your feet in towards one another and drop them next to the sit bones. Open your knees out to the side, finding your supine butterfly. Bring your right palm to the belly, left palm towards the heart. Breathe. Slowing down your breathing, aligning your chin with your forehead. And then when you're ready, you can slowly extend both legs, extend your arms, palms facing up, relaxing each and every cell of your body, letting go any tension. You can stand Shavasana for as long as you wish. If you're ready to finish your practice, start moving your fingers, your toes, extending your arms over head. Bring your knees in, rolling from side to side. And then roll to your right side. Find your fetal position. And then gently building your way up to your seated position, crossing your legs in your lotus, half lotus, easy pose. Taking a moment to observe how you feel after the practice. Taking a moment to think about your intention. Thank you guys for joining me for this practice. I hope you feel great. It's got really dark outside. Let me know how you feel after the class. Press the like button, subscribe, share with your friends. Until we meet again, namaste.